Now, there's a very important threshold question here. In order for the SEC to become involved in the regulation of crypto, remember the SEC's name is the Securities and Exchange Commission, we have to cross the definitional barrier of being able to define the crypto as a security. So that raises the question, what's a security? Now what's interesting is if you look at the statutes, the organic statutes, the Securities Act of 1933 and the Securities and Exchange Act of 1934, each contains a section that defines what a security is. And the definitions look pretty pedestrian and obvious. They talk about stock, they talk about bonds, they talk about other instruments that most of us would recognize as clearly being securities but they then throw in a phrase called investment contract. What the heck is an investment contract? Well, the investment contract is what I call a rubber phrase. It's flexible and it's designed to capture arrangements that act like securities, but don't fit comfortably within any of the other categories of securities. Needless to say, whenever you have a flexible term in a statute, a fact pattern is going to arise that's going to challenge the flexible term and it's going to call on the courts to apply that flexible term to a specific set of circumstances. The first time that issue arose before the United States Supreme Court was in 1946 with regard to a case called SEC versus Howey. The Securities and Exchange Commission brought a case against the developer of orange groves who wound up selling interests in the orange grove combined with a land management contract. And this is a very important distinction. What you would have is tourists come down to Florida in the 1930s and 1940s. They would stay at this fancy hotel and right next to the hotel there would be signs and brochures saying you love it here in Florida in the summer why don't you buy a piece of our orange grove here? And the important point is that what the tourists were buying wasn't the orange. It wasn't even the tree. It was the combination of the citrus, the rights to the profits of the citrus, with the management contract. It was the package that the Supreme Court decided satisfied the definition of an investment contract and because that investment contract was not registered with the SEC and because the sellers couldn't demonstrate that they qualified for an exemption, the Supreme Court agreed with the Securities Exchange Commission and it said that the combination of the sale of the Orange Grove with the management contract was a security. The Supreme Court at no point held, and this is really important, that an orange was a security. It was the package that was the security.